And right, today we're going to look at some 20 mil or 172 scale miniatures for English of War. These are parliamentary infantry and they're made by a manufacturer called Call to Arms. So the ones we're looking at today are the parliamentary infantry from a Call to Arms. Um, these are classes 172 scale uh, and there's basically eight different poses and they all come on these sprues. So if we take a full set of sprues, so we can see on the top line there, let's just get this in, we've got a number of pikemen here. Um, I see the reverse. So you, the, the sculpts, the models themselves, the 172 scale, they're quite detailed, and that, that's because these were originally done in a bigger scale. I think one three two, something like that, uh, fifty four mil, and they've been reduced from fifty four mil down to the one seven two scale. So the detail wise of these are, are really good. So in the top row, we got musketeers. Now with this set, there are no command. You need to buy a separate box which is um english civil war command and which can be used for either um side and um, because they also do a royalist infantry box set which is similar similar to this but it's it's diff slightly different scopes uh, and it's for um royalist armies and they they also do an, an artillery pack which can be used by either side um, and as we see, there's quite a lot of detail on these. Um, the only problem with these types of this, well, this scale in general is, is this. They tend to be a bit thin and a bit bendy on the, on the sort of weapons because, uh, though this particular range and this company, they're not as bad as others. They're, they're still fairly solid. Not, they, they could be a lot worse. Um, you also get pikes. Um, I would recommend probably not using these and maybe um, looking for some brass ones instead. Um, that, that's up to you. Um, there is some, as we can see on some of these, there is some flash to remove. Uh, I find it quite difficult to find mould lines, but there are some flash on some of these models that you will need to actually remove with a sharp knife um so yeah yeah so it is possible to do english civil war at this scale there aren't many that make english civil war uh, miniatures in 172 scale and um, there's some like savita that do ones that do miniatures for this period not necessarily english civil war but for like 17th century, which you can use within um, English Civil War armies. But I think a call to arms are the only ones that specifically do miniatures for the English Civil War. And like I said, this, this, the, the detail on these is exceptionally nice. And they're, they're a hard plastic. Um, obviously, the weapons aren't as hard as you would expect um, they're a little bendy, but they're not, like I said before, they're not as bad as other manufacturers. So you roughly get 32 in a box. Uh, and a box of these will probably cost you on eBay for about £10. Um, so I personally would use these for... A skirmish game rather than um, large scale battle. I think I'd use the epic and um, piping shot or a six mil or a 15 mil for much bigger games and would use these in the same way as I would use 28 mil um, for skirmish games. Uh, probably at this scale, slightly bigger skirmish games than I would do in 28 millimeter. But yeah, they're nice models. Some nice details on those. If I can get them closer into the camera, as we can see, there's some quite nice details on those. 
Um, and the pike, the pikemen I really like. They're, they're really nice, those pike. And they all need some clean up on them, but it's not too bad overall. Now, so that's the parliamentary infantry for uh, from a call to arms. In so those are the parliamentary miniatures, uh, infantry. Now, a call to arms make, like I said, a few other box sets. They do um, artillery. They do a command box. They do royalist infantry. Um, they're around about the £10 mark per box, and you're probably best off finding them on eBay. Um, I think they are stocked by some com some shops and stores, but I couldn't tell you which ones. I've always I've bought mine off um, eBay, and I found that's the easiest way to find them is on eBay. And then like I said they're roughly around about ten pound a box. Um, the quality is is really good for one seven two scale miniatures. Um, I, I think one scale set that's that sort of scale of miniature one seven two tends to be a bit hit and miss sometimes. You get sort of rubbery miniature or a soft plastic or in these cases which is quite good you get a hard plastic now the pro the what's always problematic in this scale and that those plastic miniatures is the weapons they tend to be quite thin and quite bendy uh, and like i said before when i was we were looking at them close up that the pole arms or the pikes will probably you probably be better off buying um, brass ones from somewhere um, because they are those are quite bendy and they will sort of bend um, over time and they won't take a lot of abuse so I would probably switch those out for brass ones but overall they're a really nice model and like I said 20 um, 20 mil scale you could do I would go more skirmish than epic sort of large scale battles um, and they'd be great for uh, local campaigns where you are not seeing large scale battles, you but you are seeing reasonably big, sort of medium sized, small to medium sized skirmishes. Uh, whereas you know you could either do it in twenty eight mil or twenty mil, but obviously twenty mil you're going to get more on the table. And I think they work well for that. I think what twenty eight mil work tends to work best for is smaller scale skirmishes or adapting something like. Silver bayonet, um, the Napoleonic sort of fantasy rule set to that period. If you wanted to sort of go down the route of English Civil War and witch hunters uh, and adding a sort of Cthulhu sort of mythos sort of element to your game, then those 28 mils from a number of manufacturers, including bloody miniatures, would work great. I think for the medium sized skirmish. 20 mil is quite a good scale. Um, you make you may want you could even drop down to 15 mil for that. Um, and like I said, call to arms are quite a good um, range of miniatures for for that sort of scale. And there aren't many manufacturers that produce specifically English Civil War. A lot of them will tend to produce 17th century. Whereas they're they're probably fun. They'll fit um, nicely within an English Civil War army. But they're, like I said, but they're not specifically English Civil War. Um, call to arms just does that range and they obviously do it in a bigger scale if you don't want to do 170 but you want to do sort of like the sort of 50 millimeter sort of 40 to 50 millimeter ramp scale that they do do one I think it's 132 in those box sets anyway that's all for now don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time